Okay, everybody, it's me, RJ. Today, we're going to use this TPMS reset tool, sale on Amazon, Walmart, all kind of places. I got this for $10. It's an EL50448. That's the number you search. There's different brands. VX, DS is the brand, OECD5, Tech, slow battery, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully, it says batteries in that. I didn't even check that. We're going to find out. But we're going to attempt. We're going to show you what to do. This is a, how to reset on Chevy trucks. This is a 2007 Chevy Avalanche, it works on Tahoe, Suburbans, Yukons, GMC, Sierras, Silverados, all of them, and a lot of the cars, okay? You want to turn the key to on, okay? I'm going to show you, it says service tire monitor system, you see it? That's stuck on, I know it's because I have my key, but it's actually stuck on one of my car, and I'll show you why. Left front tire, not noticing the sensor, okay? Other ones are fine, so what we're going to do is turn it to on, we're going to take these two buttons, Lock and unlock. You ready? Write one down ahead of time. Okay, that tells us that you heard the horn honk. That says, hey, we're in tire sensor mode. Uh, I should have opened this, guys. I'm sorry. I just got it. It was a mail day. I should have done a mail day. You're trying to open it with a crayon. Shh. Mail day. <laughs> that was a pencil. Mail crayon day. pencil. Okay. It's a really strong power. sticker. Power. That was a card I was using. Oh. All right, still video? Mm hmm Okay, let's hope that since I paid for it, I get batteries. Guess what? No battery. Back in a minute. Mm -hmm. We back? Mm -hmm. We're back. Okay, so don't do this at home, okay? I just stole this out of our smoke detector because that's the only 9-volt. I thought we had other ones, and I did not find them, okay? It is a 9-volt. Of course, there's no reason that it needs to be a nine volt, but you know, just do it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start all over. On. So the tire monitor system. We're in tire learning. So you need to go from this tire to that tire. Uh, come on out around, chill. Come uh, here. Okay. The lights on it lights up the light on the side of the car that you need to go sensor ready so you want to find it where's that tire plug and you want to go and guess what that's going to tell me what my tpms is bad i guess So guess what guys, my actual TPMS in there is bad because we're not getting nothing. So this is a review on it. I wanted to show you if it worked and it's not. Is it always by the thing? Yeah. Okay. It's connected on the back of this. Okay. So, yeah. Yippee-ki-yay. <laughs> Look at that, guys. I made a video for you. We don't even know if this thing works now. I'm going to see. It shouldn't sense over here, but I'm going to see what happens. It's going to mess up my stuff, but I'm going to get my tires rotated tonight. They can fix it better. Okay. So it now thinks that that is my tire here. <laughs> so we're going to reset it. Let's go see if it finds it on that one. Very They're easy. gonna be backwards. They're gonna be backwards. Ready? So this sensor's toast, so it's not just need to be reset, so it's a waste. But if I change my tires, you put bigger rims on, whatever you gotta do, anything, and you don't do it in an entire place that can reset them, and you do it at home, you can reset your own things. Because you see, it now works. I'm gonna show you this. Come here. That's now going to show I have a right tire, but it's going to be the sensor over there. Watch. What? See? Left tire has pressure. It doesn't. So now my tires are bad. Um, 
<laughs> so they'll have to reset them when I get there. That sucks. I'm gonna try it again. See what we can do. Maybe we can get it now. Trick it. Um, but yes, my sensor is bad. So it's a good way for you to tell, hey, is my sensor actually bad? You got one of them replaced, I wonder. Yeah, no, they rotate. I know. They rotate, they move them around. So it could have been a different one. Okay, we're gonna try to fix this guy one more time. So no, won't work it will not. Springs. So now, my tires are gonna be all over the place, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now thanks, that's my right front. <laughs> Come here. Okay, so it's up there and about here. Okay, that's all of them. So here's what, here's what I got now. <laughs> this is now my right. Which they're gonna reset anyway, and they rotate them and they move them around, okay? That's my right on the left. That's my rear right. And that is my rear left. And it says my left's out. Uh, so we're gonna try to relearn this. Let's see if I can do it just by doing this way. I won't do it. Okay. So let's do it again. Let's see if we can reset them. There it is. Tire learning is still active. Which tires lit up? One of them should be lit up. Is it this guy? Or is it the front? Let's see if it started all the way over. It did. Alright, we're going to try it again. It's toast. Alright, y'all. So... The tool works, okay? That's what we get out of this. Sorry for my crappy video, the tool works. What doesn't work is the sensor in my tire. So when they go, I have to let them know, hey, that sensor's bad. I need to replace before you pull it. I tried to move them around so their sensors are all bad. It's gonna tell you it's that one back there, but it's not. But this little handy dandy. Gives them a dig. Is motto. Okay? It works. Make sure if you take your battery out of your smoke detector that after you're done with this video, you immediately go back and put your smoke detector battery in. Yeah, you're tired, fixed, but your house is gonna burn down, okay? Don't do it. That's it. As always, I'm RJ. Seize the day, each and every day. Bye-bye. This is on the listing below. I'll show you where I bought it from.